Can you guess what this is? No, not a clock radio or a box with a VCR in it. Or that VCR. But this is an IBM Net Vista. I got it today. It's got 25 gigabit hard drive, Windows XP, 1.99 1 .99 gigahertz, I wish. 1.99 gigahertz and 512 megabytes of RAM. So I'm going to take this to the other room and test it now. And with it, actually, I have this certified data USB mouse. Yeah. Laser mouse. Looks pretty cheap overall. And this Microsoft PS2 keyboard. But it's an IBM Net Vista. I used to own an IBM Net Vista. So I have the original keyboard, monitor, and mouse that would have shipped with this series of computer. Not this exact one, of course. There's the IBM mouse. IBM keyboard, which is this printer right here. Or, no. <coughs> this printer right here. The monitor's in the basement. Let's go grab that now. First we'll take a look at the overall features of the computer itself. Power button, power LED, hard disk LED, Intel inside Pentium 4 and designed for Windows XP, IBM, 3.5 inch floppy drive, this is usual 1.44 megabytes, CD-ROM drive, two USB ports, NetVista of course. Now, exact model of this, yeah. I was going to say, oh, this thing on the bottom. And, yeah, there's that. It's a model 2-1-U, actually. Manufacture date 207. I highly doubt that's 2007 for some reason. I don't know. Look that up. There's that there. It's the bottom of the computer. It's the side. There's some ventilation there. Probably can't see that. There's a button there to release the case. Same with this side. Pretty much the same thing. Windows XP sticker. Don't see my product key because that will not be fun. On the top, there's just that thing. Nothing pretty much. Now for the back of the computer, let's have to set it down here. In the back, we've got four option card slots. I haven't even checked what they are yet because I haven't even been inside this thing yet. There's all the ports there, PS2 mouse and keyboard, two USB, serial, parallel printer port, VGA, two more USB, Ethernet, and the sound card. That's actually on board. Yeah, on board. And another random serial port. I don't know why they didn't just put those both in one place, but whatever. Power supply. It's kind of an odd-sized power supply. Hmm. Apparently it came from Edmonton. Yeah, well, that's a long ways away. Hmm. Well, now, while I'm here, I might as well take a look inside. It doesn't look like there's anything holding the case on, so I guess I'll just... Pull it off here. Oh, do you release this button to pull it off? Now I don't even know. I'm not even. Oh, yeah, maybe you do. This button doesn't want to come off or something. There we go. Uh, huh. Alright. That's interesting. So, in here we have one AGP slot and three PCI slots. North Bridge. The Pentium 4 processor. Floppy drive, hard drive down here, which is interesting shape actually. The IDE CD ROM drive, of course, everything in here is IDE. And wow, actually, I was just wrong about that power supply thing. It's not. Like that wide. It's actually this wide. It's 
Actually quite small. That's just a really small case fan that looks like it could be part of the power supply. Interesting. Awkward silence. So, manufactured date. I'm still kind of looking around. You can find a date on this power supply. That'd be nice. Of course, it probably won't. Oh, wow. The power supply is actually from IBM. Well, manufactured for IBM, but made by Delta Electronics. And I can't notice a date on there. Too lazy to look anywhere else. Deep freeze kicked in. Yeah, I guess I'll just power it up now. And worry about it. It's all set up now. And now that I look at it, I think these are the exact same I think these might be the exact same things I used in the starting eight computers for the first time video. Same I think it might be the same keyboard, for sure the same mouse and speakers. Still haven't taken that plastic off of them. And this IBM monitor looks like it goes with this Net Vista. And it probably does. But it came with a different Net Vista, a tower one. Just Oh, what the hell? It started up on me. Oh, let's see, it's on. It's an interesting sound. Hard drive's probably dying. Obviously, the data wasn't cleared because this user pro well, the user profile name was still there. Actually, I wonder if this is the original installation. For some reason, I doubt that because there was no sound. Either that or it was muted. It's quite the sound it's making. Let it do its thing. Yeah, this is owned by a tire company, you can tell, because there's wheel inventory, current tire inventory, programs at aware 2007. Maybe it hasn't even been used for four years. Wow, it's keeping time. Perfectly. I think. I don't have a clock in here because for some reason I'm in the furnace room. Which, I don't even know why I'm in here. I have like 10 other perfectly good rooms that I could use, but I just use this one. Whatever. Just gonna see if this is the original IBM installation. Oh, holy crap, it is! <laughs> oh my god. That's a jackpot. Oh, that's only Service Pack 2. Oh look, I have a 2 gigahertz, 1.99 gigahertz processor. I know why it does that, but for some reason I forget. Kind of stupid right now. 512 megabytes of RAM. Um, yeah. Let's see how big of a hard drive it has. Well, we know it has 25 gigabytes, but yeah, why not? And her just probably on its way out. Wow, it's like no one's even... IBM preload. 
That's funny. So that one's 25. This data drive is 10 gigabytes. So I would say it's probably a 40 gigabyte drive, and then there's 5 gigabytes reserved to the system. So, yeah, it's probably a 40 gig drive, 5 reserved for the system, and it's split up in two partitions. So this person probably didn't realize that there's two partitions there, so we just put 25 gigabytes for the main one. Anyway, enough of that crap. Let's just do this for fun. Yeah. Let's see what it has for graphics. I wonder if IBM has their own background. I've always wondered that. Oh, apparently not. Oh, yes they do. There's that one, there's that one for some reason. They Very nice. Yeah, they just have Leave McCannell and America's Map. So what's my resolution? I have 32-bit color, 1024 by 768, typical Windows XP. Hmm, actually, that's about it. So I'll have to set it up now. Someone's walking upstairs. Actually, this dr drive work. Oh, sweet. Oh. Oh. There's something wrong with it, definitely. But yeah, for the most part, it's functional. Test more of this so called functionality once I set it up. For good. Not get rid of it or anything, but set it up. No, whatever. Okay, I'm sorry, but you just have to see this. I swear to God, every time I use these speakers, they're just full of epic fail when it comes to actually making things sound properly. Listen to this. This is just the usual one stop. You don't really see that too often.